guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we are finally doing our holiday decorate with me and I am so excited because honestly, this time of year is definitely one of the best times of year. It is the happiest and the older I get, the more I feel very nostalgic around like Christmas time. But yeah, it's time to get this place looking festive. So I do have Mr. Melo with me and he has his groom, his little haircut. He looks so different with a haircut look at him oh you are the precious thing ever but yeah he looks so freaking cute i was gonna put his sweater on him for this video but i was like you know what halfway through this video this man is gonna have the sweater off because <laughs> Because he's a puppy, he's able to worm his way out of it. He's like Mr. Houdini. It's like right at noon and usually he is asleep at this time. So we're just gonna let him sleep on the couch because he is a very sleepy boy. But what I'm going to do is show you guys all of my Christmas decorations that I had from last year. And then I will show you guys the new Christmas decorations that I bought and then we will get decorating. Okay, so starting off with last year's decoration, the first thing we have is this. And I actually made this from the Dollar Tree myself. If you would have bought this from like Marshalls, it probably would have been like 15 to 20 bucks. So we have this, not quite sure where I'm gonna put any of this yet. We are going to figure it out and then then I have this, which is kind of similar. I bought this from Marshalls. I think this was around like 15 bucks. I also have this book, which I got from Marshalls and it's just a giant Santa book that says Merry Christmas. I think I'm gonna put this on my ottoman. It does open up, but typically I don't put anything in it. And then I have this little red pickup truck with the Christmas tree in the back. This was really popular last year. It's actually a salt and pepper shaker. So I'm probably gonna put this somewhere in the kitchen, but I don't actually put salt and pepper in there. Okay, next up we have this, which I put into a vase last year. So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this. I do have vases that are on my shelves. So we might put this on the shelf somewhere. Then I have this, which says merry and bright and it's kind of like a little like you can open and close it so i got this from home goods pretty cute next up we have this little calendar and it's just like one of those december calendars and you have this little wreath and you move it to the day of december that it currently is so we just have it on one for now since it's not quite december but i think i got this from target it was only five dollars did i get this from target i think i got this from target okay next up we have this and this is like one of those flocked christmas trees but it's like a little tiny one so this matches my christmas tree perfectly i need to get more of these because i really like the look of this okay next up we have these two trees and i can't quite remember where I got these from. I either got them from Marshalls or Home Goods, but they are just like little mini Christmas trees and they have this cute little like gray and fur stand on it. I have no clue where I'm going to put these. I might put them in the kitchen. I don't have as much like table and counter space as I did at my last apartment. Cause at my last apartment, I had two end tables. I had a TV stand and here I do not have end tables or a TV stand. So I don't have as much like counter space or I guess table. What would you call it? Tabletop <laughs> space as I did at my last apartment. But I have these. I also have these, which are, again, these are supposed to go in vases. You put these in vases, and I don't know where I'm gonna put these either, but they are quite cute. So we have that. I have this candle. I did not burn it, so it is a full candle. I have a bad habit of putting candles out and then never lighting them, so got this. And then we have a Christmas wreath, which I'm not quite sure if I'm going to put this up inside, I think most likely I'm just gonna hang this on the door outside. It is so beautiful. I've had this for a few years now and it has held up. I think I got this from Big Lots. Actually, yeah, Big Lots. And it has still held up super nicely. And now I'm gonna show you guys all of my new Christmas decorations. So this is from Target. I just bought this like, not this past weekend, but the weekend before that. And then we have this big bag from Target. So I went shopping at Target. That is where I got most of my new Christmas decorations from. Hello, come here. 
Say hi, Bobby. They want to see you. Oh, I also have this blanket. This blanket is old and it just has little reindeers on it. Very cute. But from Target, I got this pillow and it just has little Christmas trees on it. I haven't taken the tag off. So let me take that off. So I think I'm going to put this on the couch. Um, throw that over there. Next up, we have this pillow and I'm going to put this pillow, I think, on my little a uh, Sherpa chair and it says Santa Claus Merry Christmas to one and all so I don't think this is gonna go on the couch because the couch I'm gonna kind of keep like a green theme and this has red on it so we have that pillow and then I have another pillow and this is super cute this says locally grown Christmas trees and it has little trees on it and then that's the back super fun and then we got a blanket I don't think I got much from Target, actually. I haven't got a lot of new stuff. I think I'm still gonna try and get a few more things, but this is just a gray knit blanket from Target, and I think this will be really nice on the couch. But yeah, that is pretty much all the Christmas decorations besides the tree. I think we're gonna put the tree up last, but let's go ahead and get all of these decorations set out. Oh, Mano, you love blankets, don't you? Okay, so let me set y'all up somewhere where you can kind of see what I'm doing and then we will decorate the living room. Okay, so I've moved everything out of the way and we are going to put everything in its place, but I wanted to show you guys something. So if y'all can see this chair, that chair in the corner, we are going to move that chair over to this corner right here and then we're gonna put the christmas tree right here because i really want the christmas tree to go in front of the window because our window faces the main road so whenever people drive by they will be able to see our christmas tree and i really want to make it super cozy but anyways let me go ahead and kind of get things moved around if I want to put this little Christmas tree or this little doohickey on top of the table and I can't quite decide which one looks better. I kind of like this one better because I feel like it looks a bit more, I don't want to like overload it too much, but I think that's kind of cute. I don't know if that's like a bit too much but i feel like that's kind of cute okay I think we might stick with that. Okay, so this is what we have so far, and oh, <laughs> Mello. Hi, baby boy, is that blanky comfy? Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is what this looks like from this angle. I think I'm liking this. And then this is this chair. I just have it set up with our little reindeer blanket, that pillow, and then this pillow I didn't really want to put up, so I just left it there for now. And then I put that over there. Not sure if I'm gonna keep that. This is kind of like out of place, so I'm probably gonna move that. But we have our space open for our Christmas tree, so that's where we're gonna put the tree. And then I had this blanket already, so this matches pretty well, so we're gonna leave that. This is kind of what we have left. I think what I'm gonna do with this is actually leave it in the kitchen. So I think I'm gonna put it, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this bowl. This is like still all of our candy from Halloween. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna put this right here in the middle of the island. And then we might just keep this bowl here for now and then have that kind of set up like that. I don't know, what do y'all think? Also, I have this thing, I didn't show this. It's not like super Christmassy, but you can put a candle in it, which maybe we could put that in there. So I actually took that out and then what we could do is put this in here and then have it like that. Focus, okay, that's kind of cute, I don't know. What do we think? And then we could just put it Okay, so this is kind of what I have come up with. So I have this filled with the little hollies or cranberries. Not quite sure what those are, but we have that. And then I have this just kind of sitting up behind there. I put this in here, which I think this looks pretty cute like that. I need to get rid of these candles. I just kind of left them there for now. And then a little DIY, DIY what? DIY. <laughs> we have the little thingies put in there. So I have one on this side, 
one on that side got my little salt and pepper shaker set up there which hopefully it does not fall because I could totally see that happening it is a little bit crowded which I don't love especially in the kitchen but unfortunately like I said I don't have a lot of tabletop space so this is what we are working with I just put that over there just to kind of spruce up that area now for our island this is kind of what I came up with so I kept the bowl eventually I think I'm gonna try and put like Christmas candies in here we just need to get rid of those I don't really eat candy so they're just kind of sitting there and this candle is almost out so I'm gonna just throw that candle away once we burn that out now it is finally time for the Christmas tree since I do have a flocked Christmas tree it does shed quite a bit so I'm gonna go ahead and get the initial tree put up and then we will decorate it together I am so excited to get this thing up also I did put these over here by the window which i will probably have to move i'm just gonna see like what it looks like once we get the tree up but i have that set up over there and then that is put over there and then i did change this slightly so this is what it looks like now i think that looks a little bit more i don't know i kind of like the way it looks let me know what y'all think but let me get the christmas tree set up and then we will decorate it together Oh, Mello, you are so sleepy, aren't you? Mr. Sleepy. All right, you guys, so we got the tree up and she is looking so gorgeous, but I think I'm going to put the lights on off camera because who knows how long they're going to take. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and three, two, one. Lights are officially on the tree. And Mello over here is his, literally his first Christmas and he is sleeping through the most funnest part. Can you believe it? <laughs> so let me get y'all set up to where you can see what I am doing and then we will get to decorating her. So the first step is now complete if you guys can kind of see what's going on here It's supposed to basically look like a giant ribbon is kind of running throughout the tree Let me get y'all a little bit closer so you can see and I'll kind of focus in On the tree here. Let me get out of the Okay, so if you can kind of see the tree it is Like this gold ribbon that just looks like it's threaded throughout the tree. So that is the ribbon on the tree complete and now it is time for ornaments yay like cute festive ornaments um i am gonna try and get some new ones this year i haven't bought any yet but i do try to buy just some like cute little funky unique ornaments so let's go ahead and put these on the tree and then i have like these little snowy acorns if you can kind of see that Okay, and then I also have these cute little reindeer and these do not have little hooks or anything so again these I just kind of stick into the tree I think she might be complete at least with all of my current ornaments like I said I am gonna get some more I do have this little makeshift bow that I made <laughs> last year with the extra ribbon that I had I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put this up because it was kind of a struggle last year so I think this year I might just go and buy a star to go on top of the tree or an angel I'm not quite sure yet but yeah I don't know I liked this wait how did this go last year? Somehow I had it to where I had like two long, like two pieces hanging down. It was like a bow that I put on the top. I don't think I'm gonna use this this year. I might go and try and find a gold bow that has already been made. So I'm just gonna hang on to that for now. But 
let me give y'all a better view of the tree. Okay, so here is the finished tree and I will give y'all a close up so y'all can kind of see what is going on here. I do still need to get a star to go on top or a bow. Like I said, I think I'm gonna get a bow. I think a bow would look really good, but oh, I love her so much. She looks so good. I just kind of draped a white blanket at the bottom to kind of look like, I don't know, like snow. This is what I did last year and it worked. So I might go and and get an actual tree skirt I'm not sure what do you think of the tree do you love her is she gorgeous is she a gorgeous tree mellow he is so sleepy he literally slept through the whole thing oh there we go hi bubby hi baby boy he's such a sweetheart yes you are the biggest sweetheart of them all. Okay, so here is the living room. One last look. It looks so good. Mr. Mello, you are just a little show stealer, aren't you? Okay, so this is the couch. Looks so nice. I might get one more festive pillow to put on this couch. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. And then this is... The little ottoman and she is all decorated up as well and then we have the christmas tree which looks so good and then we have this little chair over here so that is the living room completed it's not super decorated i might get something to go on this wall just to make it look a little bit more festive but it's very low-key it's very very low-key and then we have the kitchen and this is the island we have this over here which i'll showed y'all earlier we got that but yeah that's kind of what it looks like from over here I did move this plant to this little section right here because it was in that corner but it was kind of cramping on the tree style so I moved it over there I have that wreath in the floor I need to get a wreath hanger and then I'm gonna hang it up on the door so that is pretty much it for this video you guys I hope y'all enjoyed I will be doing a part two of this I need to get like a few things here and there so I will take y'all along with me on the part two and we will finish decorating Mello, come here. Say bye. Say bye to the YouTubes. Oh, thank you for your kisses, Mello. I love you so much. Yes, I do. I hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.